Construction of Circle Part 1 Today we will learn different ways to construct a circle. What are you making? I am trying to make a round figure. But I am just not able to. Oh, your method is wrong. Let me show you the right way to make a round figure. Show me. Why have you taken out this tiffin box? I will tell you. But first you tell me, what is the shape of this tiffin box? This tiffin box is round. Yes. Now I'll keep this on a paper. And I'll trace its boundary with a pencil. Now let us lift the tiffin box. Look, a round figure is created. Okay, now I understand. What other objects can we use to make a round figure? Please tell me. Ring. A ring is also round. The ring will make a very small round figure. To make a big round figure, we can use a plate. If we have to make a bigger round shape, what can we use? We can make a bigger round shape using the tire of a cycle. What if we have to make an even bigger round shape? To make an even bigger round shape, we will need a long wooden stick. How will you make it with a stick? Let me show you. Look, I am standing here. As I turn around, the stick will make a round shape on the ground. Wow! I didn't think of this method. But how will we make round shapes bigger than this? What is the need to make a bigger round shape? Come, I will show you. Why did you bring me to the football ground? To show you this round shape. Oh, this is very big. But how was this made? Even I want to know the same thing. A thread and nail is used to make this. Nail and thread? Yes, nail and thread. How, sir? It is very easy. You go to the park. I'll come there with a nail and thread. Sir, make a round shape and show us. I'll definitely show you. But first you should know that in the language of mathematics, it is called a circle, not a round. Circle? Yes. Now see how a circle is made. For this, we will first tie the thread to the nail. Then we will hammer the nail at one place in the ground. Now we will hold the front end of the thread firmly and walk around the nail to create a circle. We can use a stick or any other sharp object to make the circle on the ground. See, a complete circle is made. Using this method, we can make big round shapes. Don't call it a round shape, it's a circle. Oh yes, circle. Yes. We can make a very big circle using this method. And in your football field, big circles are made this way. Using this method, we can make circles of every size, big and small. Now we will always keep a nail and thread with us. This means that you have not been taught how to use a compass in the classroom. Compass? What is that? Look, this is a compass. It is a tool which helps us make circles. How, sir? Please show us how it works. Of course. Look at the compass. One side has a sharp pointed end and the other side holds the pencil. The pencil is fixed in such a way that the writing end of the pencil and the pointed end of the compass are on the same line. Now pull apart the compass. Keep the pointed end on the paper and make sure that it does not move from its place while making the circle. Now we turn the pencil end on the paper. The pencil starts creating a circle on the paper. Once the circle is complete, remove the compass oh, from the wow! paper. This is an amazing tool. We can easily make a circle with this. Now, we know four methods to draw a circle, isn't it? Which four methods? I told only two. One is by tracing the edge of round objects. The second is by holding something that can make a mark and then making a line around you. The third method is with the help of nail and thread. 
and fourth by using a compass. Good. Now you go to your class and I'll go to my class.